to add data to a field, you need to go to the field, right click on it, and turn on the editor. So I'm going to come down here where it says edit features. I'm going to say start editing. Notice a new toolbar has came up on my screen. Now there's more than one way to do this. So we're using the same map that was shown in the previous example. And what we're going to do is add some data. So one of the ways to add data is using the editor toolbar and open up the attributes. You don't see anything in this window at this moment, but if I click on any one of the polygons and select it, you can see it's selected because it now has a blue line around it. And over here, we can see all the different fields, including the one that we created in the previous example, which is called null. And I could enter a value for population, say it's 1,256 people living in there, and hit enter, and now I have added a value there. I could manually then come over to the next census track. I could click on the population field again, and let's say this one's 3,218 people. Hit enter, and I have now recorded a value for that. But it would be very easy for me to miss a field. And so what we want to do is add it more in bulk than just adding individuals. So let me save what I've done already, just so we don't lose that information. I'm going to come back over to my shape file and right click on it and open the attribute table. And now if you look at the attribute table, we can see in the population field that we have two of the rows that have numerical values. So those are the ones that we added from using the attribute function that we just looked at. But all the rest of them say null because we've not added any values there. Now I'm obviously making up values. You'd want to have a table that you're reading values off of to put in here. And that would be that you have a paper table that don't have any common fields, so you couldn't do some type of tabular join. But we're going to manually enter data here. So I just click where it says null. And let's say this one has a population of 2,500. Notice it is right justified. By being right justified, we know it is a number. If it was left justified, we know it would be text. And remember, we made this a floating field. So this is 2232, let's say, and 2612, and 4012, and 3515. And I'm just going to continue on filling these up. 1490 or 29, 1600, skip that one, 1522, 4058, 1200, and let's say the last one here is 2227. So now that I've put the values in there, they've not been saved at this moment, but they have been inputted. So I'm just going to close the attribute table. We won't lose these values. Just to show you that we've not lost the values, let me click and select one of these tracks and notice the values over here. On the editor window, I now will use the pull down and I'll say save edits. And now all those values have been saved. We can click on any one of them, and we're seeing the, seeing the numbers change over here on the bottom field, the population field. And finally, I'm going to say stop the editor. And by stopping the editor, notice we lost everything over in the attribute column that we were looking at. And what we're going to do now is do a very simple symbology on that field just to show the reason to do something like this. So I'm going to double click to open my properties window. I'm going to go to the Symbology tab. We're going to select Quantities. The field I'm going to look at is the Population field. I'm just going to use the divisions it gives me. I'm going to choose a different ramp color, though, because I don't like that ramp color. I'm going to use this ramp color here. And I'm going to change that top member, because I also don't like that top member that it gave me. I'm going to make it 
a light blue. So there's my five ramp colors. I'm going to say OK. And notice they have been applied. So that would be a reason that we want to add an attribute. Now, of course, if this record had 500 lines, we wouldn't manually add the attribute in this fashion. But if there's just a few items we want to add, and in this case we had a fairly few, um, this would be the methodology to do it.